What's up, everybody? You've just reached the Kim's Reaction Show. And before we get into this content, please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share. Make sure that your notification bell is on all so that when I upload content, you will not miss out. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So Kanye West is back in the headlines this week and more than once. So Kanye West, Black Lives Matter fires back. White Lives Matter shirt hurts real people. So guys, as we know, Kanye West just had a performance, a Yeezy show or something like that. And Candace Owens, Candace Owens was there. And him and Candace Owens had a White Lives Matter t-shirt. So let me get right into this article because we have some more stuff to talk about Kanye West because Khloe Kardashian defends Kim Kardashian because Kanye West is attacking, well, speaking out against Kim Kardashian again. He's just, and also, it's just a lot of Kanye West news. So this video right here is just going to be about Kanye West news. All right, let's get right into this article. So author and activist Mark Lamont Hill came on TMZ Live Tuesday to discuss Kanye West's White Lives Matter controversy as he's shooting down the notion that the guy gets a pass because of his mental health. Kanye, by his own admission, deals with bipolar disorder and has even said he sometimes doesn't take his meds. But Mark Lamont Hill says that alone cannot be an excuse for what Kanye saying in regards to Black Lives Matter or what many consider outrageous behavior. Essentially, Mark saying he believes that this is how Kanye feels at his core. And to him, it's a major disappointment. The reason he thinks Kanye is a lot more stable and cognate than some might have might give him credit for is because of all of his successes. Something Mark doesn't think someone with a truly debilitating mental illness could do. It's an interesting theory. Bottom line, Mark thinks Kanye's trying to have his cake and eat it too. Especially when he picks and chooses when he wants to lean into his black identity. And it's a bad look from Mark's point of view. The Black Lives Matter movement is going after Kanye West for the controversial white lives matter shirt he wore to his yeezy show saying it's nothing but but a stunt to hurt folks fighting for justice in a statement to tmz black lives matter says while some may see kanye and candace stunt as a distraction we recognize that it harms thousands of families fighting for justice for their loves one loved ones killed by state sanctioned violence all right so I'm going to read this statement from Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter grassroots responds to Kanye West and Candace Owens trending for wearing White Lives Matter shirts by offering to educate them. <clears throat> Los Angeles, California. On Monday, Kanye West and Candace Owens wore shirts embezzled with the words White Lives Matter at the Yeezy Season 9 presentation in Paris. The stunt was a clear affront up to Black Lives Matter, which has been measured as the largest racial ju justice movement in history. Black models walked the runway wearing the same slogan, All Lives Matter, and White Lives Matter have long served as violent retorts to the Black Lives Matter movement used by white supremacists and hate groups including the Ku Klux Klan. In a follow-up statement, Kanye was clear that he intended to kill the Black Lives Matter movement. Black Lives Matter grassroots sees this as a teachable moment. Political education is core to what we do. While some may see Kanye and Candace stunt as a distraction, we recognize that it harms thousands of families fighting for justice for their loved ones killed by state-sanctioned violence. It can spread toxic confusion and be used to legitim legitimate, legitimate, legitimize, excuse me, legitimize violent assaults on black people. Battling misinformation while continuing to do the hard that hard that liberation requires is nothing new for us. Black Lives Matter was was birthed in 2013 in response to George Zimmerman's acquittal for the murder of 17 year old Trayvon Martin. 
The boots on the ground have always been everyday people committed to ending state sanctioned violence against black people. We took to the streets, demanded poli- policy change, shifted narratives, and built a mass movement then and now to build a world where all of our people can live and walk freely. Black Lives Matter also ripping Candace Owens, who also wore the shirt for what they view as spreading toxic confusion, claiming the shirts and phrasing can be used to legitimize violent assaults on black people. Kanye West wrote a post on Instagram saying, Everyone knows that Black Lives Matter was a scam. Now it's over. You're welcome. As per Kanye West. Kanye should know better Black Lives Matter says, telling us Kanye knows very well that white lives have never been targeted or oppression. Black folks, in contrast, are at the bottom of virtually every economic, social, and political measure because of centuries of individual and institutional racism. For his part, Kanye says he wore the White Lives Matter shirt at his fashion show because he thinks Black Lives Matter was a scam. Naturally, Black Lives Matter disagree. They say the movement will benefit everyone in the long run because when black people get free, everybody gets free. So, guys, I know everyone's seen that Kanye West and Candace Owens wore a White Lives Matter shirt. My opinion on this matter... I've spoke about this in previous videos of mine. You can go back and check it about the Black Lives Matter movement and um, where the funding was going and the founders of the Black Lives Matter, how they were using the money and putting money overseas and stuff like that. You can go back and look at it. All right. My opinion is right. This is just my opinion. All To me, all lives matter. Whether, you, whether you're black, white, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, Indian, Chinese, wherever you're from, all lives matter. So I think that should have been the better. Um, that should have just been the better notation. And, you know, wearing a white lives matter shirt does not prove that white li- black lives matter was a scam you understand if you want to make a point then you should make a point by saying all lives matter then there wouldn't be no controversy you understand um but he basically saying that he wore the shirt white lives matter to say that black lives matter was a scam drop your comments down below let me know what you think about this situation next in news more of kanye west all right So Kanye West blasted by Supreme Executive. Keep Virgil's name out your mouth. Kanye has responded to Tremaine Emery's clapback, eschewing him from. All right, hold on. Eschewing him from LVMH head Bernard Arnold, who ye thinks sykes Tremaine on him in the first place because LVMH acquired supreme into 2020 all right kanye west white lives matter t-shirt is the can of worms he just can't close and one of his former collaborators is gutting him over one of the rants that followed his fashion statement the fury response comes from tremaine emery the creative director over a supreme who took great expectation to ye using the late virgil abluff as a metaphor for his latest flight Ye, ye accused the CEO Bernard Arnault of killing Virgil. Doubling down on his belief, Virgil was overworked while he battled terminal cancer in his final days. But Tremaine just isn't having it. All right. So Tremaine took to Instagram. I'm going to read his Instagram post. It says, I got to draw the line at you using Virgil's death in your yees. Is the victim campaign in front of your psycho, psychophant peanut algorithm gallery your best friend virgil negro please this time last year you said virgil's designs are a disgrace to the black community in front of all your employees at yeezys ask latus holland i don't even know these people's names guys i'm sorry 
Let me continue. I got all the receipts. Don't let me get into the things you said about V after his death. You tell the people why you didn't get invited to Virgil's actual funeral, the one before the public one at the museum, and why you weren't allowed to speak at the public funeral. You knew Virgil had terminal cancer and you wrote on him in group chats at Yeezy interviews, songs, etc. You are so broken. Keep Virgil's name out your mouth. Keep Gabrielle K name out your mouth. You're not a victim. You're just an insecure narcissist that's dying for validation from the fashion world. Take care. At least we'll always have Uganda. Okay. So Tremaine accused Yee of knowing about Virgil's cancer before he died ye uh yet still opting to rip his career choices specifically he claims ye called virgil's design a disgrace to the black community that will stand in stark contradiction to the special sunday service ye held the day before virgil's death Virgil was mourned at the Star Studded Funeral in December of 2021 with the likes of Drake, Rihanna, Tyler the Creator, ASAP Rocky, and so much more in attendance. But Ye, Ye left an unhappy camper. Ye had complained he wasn't able to speak at Virgil's funeral, but Tremaine says Ye's behavior was to blame, that it prevented him from being invited to the private gathering beforehand. Tremaine also defended Vogue's fashion editor Gabriella Kerfa Johnson from Yee's recent attacks. Who was doxxed after she stepped up to criticize the White Lives Matter shirt? He finished his post by painting Yee as a narcissist still seeking props from fashion worlds, which sounds like something Sway said like 10 years ago. All right, so I'm going to just jump right into this real quick. I mean, Kanye's all over the news, okay? Khloe Kardashian now is ripping into Kanye, okay? Kanye, stop tearing, stop tearing Kim down. Let her raise your kids in peace. All right, so Kanye West just now fired back writing, all right? So let's get into Khloe's, uh, Khloe Kardashian's clo- post, all right? So... Chloe wrote to Kanye, Kanye, I love you. I don't want to do this on social media, but you keep bringing it here. You are the father of my nieces and nephews, and I'm trying to be respectful, but please stop tearing Kimberly down and using our family when you want to deflect. Again, with the birthday narrative, enough already. We all know the truth, and in my opinion, everyone's tired of it. You know exactly where your children are at all times, and you want it separate birthday parties i have seen all of the texts to prove it and you have changed your mind and wanted to attend you came like you have pointed out yourself she's the one taking care of the kids 80 percent of the time please leave her and the family out of it so that the kids can be raised be raised excuse me peacefully i come from a place of love and i'm happy to continue this conversation privately if you wish Kanye West is just now firing firing back. You're lying and you're and <clears throat> you are lying and are liars. Yeah, basically kidnapped Chicago on her birthday so she could remember her father not being there. So there y'all also threw a party before Psalm's birthday when I was flying back from Japan to be there for his birthday and the rest. I heard about it after seeing pics of the party online. He also continues Also, I should see my children 100% of the time. But since there's a separation, it should have been 50-50 of the time. Y'all wouldn't have played with Donda like that in Jesus' name. Chloe will no longer allow Kanye West to continue to tear Kim Kardashian down. She's speaking up, telling him to leave Kim and the family alone as he tries to defend himself for mistakes he's made. Guys, Kanye West is all over Instagram. And you know the Kardashians run Instagram. You know they have the TMZ in their back pocket. I always said that. Let's not be surprised. He's on a rant again, okay? I don't know what's triggering him. I don't know if maybe he's getting backlash from the White Lives Matter thing that he did. I don't know if he's trying to deflect. But he's on a rant again. And let's not be surprised if his Instagram account gets suspended again, guys. So let's... I'm going to keep up with this 
I mean, it's a lot of news going on with Kanye West. But I'm going to end this video right here. If you came to the end, of the end of the video, please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share. Make sure that you put your notification bell on all so that when I upload content, you will not miss out. Also, you can find me on Twitter, The Kim's Reaction Show. Make sure you go find me on Twitter. Make sure your subscription is on. Your notification bell is on all so that when I upload content, you will not miss out. This is The Kim's Reaction Show.